Pixgrove offers player-run shops. When you are Birch Rank, you can purchase property in Market District, buy and set up a shopkeeper, and this shopkeeper will trade items for you while you are away. This video will explain how the system works, so let's get started. Firstly, to get to the Market District, type slash warp shop, or open your Pixgrove menu with slash pg. In the Pixgrove menu, click on the warps icon. This should appear as an ender pearl. This will take you to the warps menu. You will see a gold bar which will warp you to the market district when clicked. At the warp, you will see everything you need to purchase a shop. There are two villagers each who sell a special item called shopkeeper for one diamond block. This item will be used to summon a mob to trade items for you. Next, you will see three important signs on the front of the counter. Balance, sell, and buy. In order to purchase property in Market District, you will need to convert diamonds into game dollars. Click on Balance to see how many dollars you have and use the sell sign to convert 10 diamonds to $5. Convert as many diamonds as you need to purchase the property you would like. If you accidentally sell more diamonds than you intend, you can convert amounts of $5 back to diamonds with the buy sign. Now that you have some game dollars and a shopkeeper, you can choose a property to purchase. Search through Market District for a shop that you like and check to see if it is already rented. If it is available, you can rent it for one month at the amount shown in the sign next to the shop. Once you have game dollars, right click on the sign of an unrented shop to rent it. You now own a shop. Now it's time to set up a shopkeeper for trading. Place a chest somewhere near where you would like your shopkeeper, about one block away. Take the special item called shopkeeper. This should be a piece of paper and right click it in the air not having your crosshair over any blocks, and select the shopkeeper type. We suggest setting this to Trading Shopkeeper. Next, while still looking in the air, shift right click to choose a mob type to represent your shopkeeper. This is up to your preference of mob. Select the chest that you placed to associate the shopkeeper with that chest by right clicking the chest. We will use this chest to store all of the items you will be trading. Lastly, right click on the block where you want the shopkeeper to stand and it will be summoned. From here, shift right clicking on the shopkeeper will give you additional options such as changing the mob's appearance, setting a shop's name, or deleting the shopkeeper, which will return the shopkeeper item to you. Now it's time to trade something. You will need the item you would like to trade to others and at least one of the items you want in return. Usually players default to diamonds as currency, but it can be any item you want. Place the items you are selling in the chest, then shift right click on the shopkeeper. You should see an item inside the shopkeeper's inventory at the top for each unique item you have placed in the chest. Hover over one of these unique items and left click it to increase the number of that item you will sell and right click it to decrease the number. To set a price or trade, have at least one of your items you want in return in your inventory. You'll be using a diamond. Left click the diamond and drag it to the slot two slots below the item you are selling and place the diamond there with left click. You should see a diamond appear without any of the diamonds from your inventory being consumed. Similar to the items you are selling, left click to increase the number of diamonds and right click to decrease the number. When you escape from the shopkeeper's inventory and right click the shopkeeper, you should see the items you are selling from the chest being sold for diamonds. If you want to close your shop, Type slash AS unrent while standing in the shop and your property will be revoked and available for anyone to rent again. Hopefully this tutorial has explained our shop system here on Pixgrove and staff are always ready to help you if you run into any issues. Have a great day and goodbye!